Hello, I'm John Britt, and today we're going to make some V-shaped bowls like I've got right here. Uh, it's just a nice straight shape, uh, pretty good foot there on the bottom, so I leave it a little thick. And then here's a sort of a finished product, uh, what it'll look like when we're done. And so here's some samples, and now we're going to, I'm going to uh, usually wedge out a piece of clay like this and then I'll take a certain amount which is about a little over a pound. Uh, one little tip is that if you use a damp rag when you're washing your hands I usually just put it into the water and then squeeze it out then that keeps you from having dust around your face so it's a great way to uh, not get all dusty. And so then I okay, I'll put this down and put some water on. Here's another little trick if you come in a little closer you'll see Sometimes with porcelain you get S cracked when you're beginning, especially if you don't wedge well. So th this method that I got from Arne Asse in his book Watercoloring on Porcelain, you just smooth the bottom, like, or the, well that's the top right now, but then we're going to turn it over. And now you've, you've uh, aligned all the particles and it reduces S cracks a lot. So I'm going to... I'm going to cone this a little, make sure that it's all homogenized and, you know, well centered. Okay, so now I'm going to do my opening. When I do that, I will come in, just check. I'd like to have it about a half an inch or so, maybe more, depending on how deep you want the foot. Now, when I do my first pull, I'm not flattening out the bottom like I would a cylinder. I'm just coming straight up like on a fun like a funnel shape. And all my clay is down in here, so I'll push real hard on the outside, not much on the inside, and that will let it rise up. Keep this kind of fat on the rim because you're going to be expanding the rim. You need some weight there. Okay, so we'll go hard here now. Just slowly letting that come out. Probably do one more. Go real hard at the bottom where all the clay is right there. Press pretty hard. Okay, now clean the water out. Then I use these ribs. So I have these metal ribs that I like to use. Um, first thing I'm going to do is fix this bottom. So I'm going to push my finger on there, and then ru I'll run this rib in, and that lifts it up a little bit. Then my next step will be hold the rib against there and see how it makes it makes the foot sort of with that profile. Okay, now I'm going to have uh, water on my hands and be inside and just generally rub my fingers across there. Basically what that does, first thing it does is forms it and then I'm going to be getting all the sort of scum off of there that that's, would make it want to collapse, the, mo the moisture. Now I'm going to use two ribs. I'm just going to lay one inside like that and one outside and then just slowly work up. Real delicate. And you see, I think you see what the first pull will do. If you get all kinds of that off of there. Then my next one I'll go a little bit, I'm not pushing too hard, but I'm having it angle out a little. Widening it. And see something gets kind of delicate as you're forcing it out like that. That's why you want to leave this fat. See how thin it has gotten. And then I'm just going to form the inside on the bottom. And when, right when I'm done, I'll 
usually take my sponge and just hold two fingers on that edge and smooth that edge over. Okay, so that's it. That's uh, how to make a V-shaped bowl and uh, next time we'll come back and make another type of bowl for you.